medical attention. Be well.
Klaus. Hello, stranger. My internal chronometer tells me it has been exactly 963 years since this hologram was made. Have the Sith truly lived in fear of me for so long? Why should the Sith fear you? It is what the Sith do. Their passions, their fear especially, feed their power. A power that inspires yet more fear. Like so many before me, I challenged the Emperor and was buried in this temple. Fortunately, I had just enough time to make this, an interactive image that would transmit my secrets to whomever was bold enough to find my tomb and unlock it. I unlocked your tomb, so start transmitting. Patience, and everything will become clear. The way of the Sith lies in channeling the Force through the use of powerful emotions. Fear is the chief of these. The Sith feed on palpable dread. What's the secret, then? It's a lie. Fear is a lie. Passion, a lie. Fear gives temporary power, and passion is easily manipulated. Real strength in the Force comes when one is no longer afraid. And one can purge fear when one stops grasping. After power, after things, after life itself, and allows the Force to guide him, there is only the Force. What do you mean, there's only the Force? Just that. Everything there is, life and death alike, is wrapped up in the Force. What I learned only lives on through this image and its device. Yet I am one with the Force, eternal and at peace. Take them. Take my teachings to the Sith. They will find power there, but a different kind. Not of darkness, but light. These heresies must be destroyed. Then do so. Strike out against knowledge and see what comes of it. If you destroy these teachings, the light does not go out. Remember, fear is not the only way.
Yes, yes. I have been waiting for you. I felt your movements in the Force, and they stirred me from my nightmare. I am still too weak to leave, but I knew if I made myself another the nuisance, you would eventually come. The Sith throw flesh endlessly at what they cannot control, and here you are, blood of my blood. Here you are. What are you talking about? Ah, you don't know me. Has our family fallen so far that the son of my sons does not know the name of Kallig, the name so long revered in the annals of the Sith? You are my descendant. By how many generations, I do not know. But know this, your strength in the Force has awakened me from my stupor. What do you mean, I awakened you? When the weaklings of this planet trespassed my tomb, I rose, resuming my former life. This temple became my kingdom, and I was once more a lord of the Sith. But when you first grasped the hilt of your lightsaber, I knew my hour had come and gone, that your strength, not mine, would return our family to glory. I'm going to return our family to glory. Our family was torn from greatness, crushed by the treachery of another, a man named Tulak Horde. He places Amin's Waihai's fools. Go and did a seek from Tauhans. Ha! Your master is dead, beast. You serve the child of Kalib now. Flesh of my flesh, you should teach your servant to obey. I will deal with him as I see fit. Fair enough. I only caution you not to take obedience for granted. In restoring our bloodline to glory, you must not make the same mistake. Treachery is the Sith's endless game. You must win it. Don't worry about me. Beware your master. Beware your apprentice. Never be taken by surprise. Do these things, and you will be unstoppable. But you have not come to see me. You have come for the artifact I managed to wrest from Tulak Horde before he died. Take the artifact, but be careful. I know not what it does. Only that betrayal follows it everywhere. I'll use caution. I hunger for the day when our power will be restored. We will meet again. Apprentice, do you have the artifact yet? I have the artifact in hand. Of course. Brilliant. Magnificent. Hurry back to Scotia's, I mean, my chambers. I cannot wait to see this artifact. And I have a surprise for you. What kind of surprise? Trust me, you'll love it. Now hurry back with the artifact. I can't wait.
Do you dare approach the great Nil Venerous, Lord of the Sith, Master of the Undying Darkness? Answer me. What insolence brings you to this place, slave? I will not tell you again. I'm not a slave. I'm Sith. What? You're not afraid of me? Y you aren't a mindless puppet like the rest of them? I, I don't understand. Of course I'm not a puppet. Then whatever it is that's doing this is, is losing its hold. I... I was part of an expedition sent by the Empire to measure strange activity in the Dark Temple. But soon after we entered, we all became... different people. I became the mighty Lord Venerous, and the others became my obedient followers and servants. You seem normal enough now. Yes, for some reason, that the madness no longer has its hold on me. Like whatever's causing this dream is, is losing its power. It's strange that you seem to be unaffected. In fact, it's strange to find you here at all. I thought the Imperials gave up sending people in here. What exactly are you doing here? The Imperials want data. I'm going to get it for them. So the Imperials haven't given up on getting their precious data, after all. This is lucky. You see... Ever since I came to my senses, I've been worried that my followers will begin to doubt my leadership. I can't lose my power. I can't go back to being a slave. But maybe... maybe we can help each other. It wouldn't be hard for me to eliminate you and your followers. Well, I guess that's true. Except, except I'm the only one who can make all the others turn in their data. All, all I ask is that you find the symbols of Lord Venerus's power. They were looted from his tomb by the people possessed by Venerus's enemies. The symbols will help me reinforce my followers' belief in me. Lock them in their dream. I bring the symbols and you give the data. Be careful. Venerus's old enemies will put up a good fight.
You're back. I hope you sealed the chambers of the ancients, Keleth Ur's chamber especially. I'm terrified to think what would happen if Keleth Ur and his crazed ideas were to reemerge. His secrets have been destroyed forever. Keleth Ur's secrets have been contained along with the other ancients. You have done well. My network of spies reports that you crushed my enemies underfoot and found the symbols of power I requested. It's right here. Have it. I, too, have been very busy. Here is the data my servants collected before the temple transformed them. Let the Empire make of it what they will. I am most grateful. You're welcome. Oh, and um, there's one last itty-bitty little thing you can do. You see, power is useless without subjects. So I'd be grateful when you turn in the data, you'd encourage the Imperials to send more expeditions my way. Not a bad idea. Yes. I do think I've finally found my true calling. I can assure you, my gratitude, if you send more slaves to be my followers, will not be insubstantial.
Aha, the only thing more powerful than the Dark Temple. Any luck getting that data? Here's your data, as promised. Hey, you actually came through. Can't say I was expecting that. Can't say it's not a relief. Now we can finally stop sending expeditions in there, wasting all those slaves who should be building monuments to the Empire. Actually, I think data like this calls for more expeditions. Had a look at it, did you? Well, it's not really my call to make. But I'll forward your recommendation to my superiors. It's not a recommendation. I'll make clear what you did for us. I think that'll carry a lot of weight. It's the best I can promise. Goodbye then, and thanks for the data. Your service to the Empire will not be forgotten. Destination? Enjoy your stay. medical attention. Be well. Fantastic apprentice. You're just in time for my surprise. Since you left for the Dark Temple, I've been reading and reading and reading. Scotia's chambers are a treasure trove of research. Now, who would have thought a man like that had such a curious intellect? It almost makes me regret that we had to kill him. But let me see this wonderful artifact you found. It's right here. Have it. Excellent. Magnificent. It all begins here, apprentice. But tell me, how did you manage to pacify the apparition? Apparently he was my ancestor. Remarkable. A slave's lost ancestor turns up in the Dark Temple. And I sense your incredible destiny doesn't stop there. I've been studying Tulak Horde's artifacts closely for some time. And one glance at this one you've brought back confirms everything I've suspected. These artifacts will change everything, Apprentice. You especially. They will make you more powerful than you could imagine. I have foreseen it. What do the artifacts do, exactly? This artifact is one of five that together describe a peculiar ritual used by the great Tulak Horde when he conquered the Droman system. Until I have all the artifacts, I cannot understand the full nature of the ritual. But I have foreseen that you alone will wield the ritual's power. The artifacts are scattered across the galaxy, some hidden by Tulak Horde himself, and some wrenched from his hands by betrayers. Documents in Scotia's effects point to Balmora and Narshada, but I will need to do more research to locate the other two. I'll get started right away. It's not much to go on, but I will continue my work behind the scenes to get you more information.
But first, I believe I mentioned a surprise earlier. If you're going to find these artifacts, you'll need a ship, and so I have ordered you one. All you need to do is pick it up. For me? You are too kind. Yes, you've earned it. You'll find your ship at the spaceport. Then, the galaxy is yours to explore. Don't forget to contact me when you reach each planet for more information on the artifact's locations. Good luck and good hunting. Ababarna habans, kalau bena ni in usakwai, usi terens api pao. Ready for departure. Enjoy your stay. Destination?
mean, greetings. I am 2VR8, that totem droid for this vessel. You must be my new master. Gentle, kind new master. So I get a starship and a servant, too. Not bad at all. I am relieved, uh, uh, pleased that you find me agreeable. I will never disappoint you, Master. I am programmed for a wide array of tasks, including but not limited to meal preparation, ship maintenance, janitorial duty, and etiquette. Welcome aboard this Fury-class Imperial Interceptor. A versatile craft combining a starfighter's maneuverability with armament to rival larger military vessels. You'll find all of the standard amenities, including your own private captain's locker for storing valuables. The astrogation console contains a constantly updated map of the known galaxy. Interstellar communications are accessed via the ship's holo terminal. Priority alerts that you may find useful are available from the Imperial Holonet console. Lastly, the ship's intercom will inform your crew that you wish to issue new orders. Any questions, Master? Are you at least capable of providing security while I'm not aboard? I regret I am unable to offer you combat support, Master. Frankly, my chassis couldn't withstand the stress. However, should any errands arise that are beneath your superior status, please do not hesitate to call upon me. I function to serve you. Whenever you are ready to depart, consult the galaxy map on your bridge. It will program the proper astrogation coordinates and activate the engines. Aglau sai unsaf pama ubilin usatida sin fara alaim ja al in ima ja haben iten. My power is greater than any of the fools that surround me. Jinasiwe ja alaize nam na dize. Ustaupaim ai si jai in alam is frumadain habans. Gamlid is franjan kupainanan. Not many people lock their allies in stasis for centuries. Iswarim ja algamboze uspalib. Ni havashun isquis kai jukai we jans in how manai. Is that you, Apprentice? Excellent. You've arrived safely on Balmora, I see. Now, I hope you're ready to work. I've got a good idea of where the ancient artifact is on Balmora, but it's not pleasant. I don't have a weak stomach. Good. This is not a task for the easily unsettled. Tulak Horde hid his artifact in a vault on Balmora, one that was later converted by the Balmorans into a toxic waste storage facility. But the vault was hit badly in the last war. It's now a crater, filled with toxic waste. Your artifact is at the bottom. You must have some sort of plan for how to get it, right? Regrettably, I haven't had time to put together a plan. You'll have to figure this one out yourself. But try making contact with the Imperial Resources Officer here on Balmora, Major Bessica. Bessica knows the planet, and he may even have a few good ideas. He will do whatever I say. Careful you don't alienate a potential ally. The Empire has its hands full, coping with a violent Balmoran uprising. Officially, they're a grassroots militia. Secretly, they have the Republic's full backing. I've informed Major Bessica of the Republic's involvement, so he'll be better equipped to assist you. 
No doubt the Republic's hands will get in your way. Republic or resistance, it makes no difference to me. The Republic may claim to be virtuous, but they have a well-oiled military machine. These are not farmers waving sticks. But the war is secondary to the artifact. Retrieve the artifact and try to be discreet. We don't want the entire Sith Order chasing our prize. My lord, welcome to Balmora. I hope you like bomb to pieces mud holes. Captain Rigel, Imperial Conquest Consolidation Corps. When the Empire invades, we're the ones who seal the deal. Don't suppose you're aware of the situation here on Balmora? I've been briefed, but I could use more details. It's war, bloody and limitless. The Empire invaded Balmora in the last war, but we've been spinning our wheels in the mud ever since. Resistance fighters think they can drive the Empire off Balmora. We're here to prove them wrong. How hard can it be to put down a few resistance? It's not just a few resistance. They're well organized and well armed, but they can be broken. The Balmoran government in exile, backed by Minister of Defense Vol Arjun, is giving us fits, backing a strong faction of the resistance. The minister is safely off planet, but if we break his allies here, we break him. We break him, we break the resistance. Why doesn't Imperial Intelligence just have him assassinated? Yeah, I get your thinking. Cut off the head and kill the body. Except resistance movements aren't organisms, exactly. If we took out Arjun, it'd be big. But as long as his power base stands, some other idealist is bound to step in. That's why we need to take everything out. Do we have the privilege of your support? Normally I wouldn't be bothered. But this project sounds intriguing. You have our heartfelt appreciation, my lord. My second-in-command, Lieutenant Davril, is masterminding phase one of what we like to call Operation Breaking Point. You'll find him in Sobrick. He's got plans to blow the Balmoran resistance sky-high. I think you'll like them. <laughs> 